Hello everyone. Uh, as you can see, we have something a little bit different on the on the table here. It's big. Uh, it is Sector 7 Docking Bay pop-up. I got this uh, from Entertainment Earth. It is a 112th scale um, diorama, so I am looking forward to taking a closer look at this. This is not Star Wars necessarily, uh, but I will be using them with my Black Series figures. I think that uh, it should fit pretty well in the universe. Uh, so uh, what I'll do here is I'm going to go ahead and unbox this with you. We're going to go ahead and set it up and we're going to see just how well it works with the Black Series figures that we have here. Um, and uh, if you're interested in this, I do have an affiliate link to Entertainment Earth uh, down in the uh, description area down below. So let's take a closer look at this pop-up. Uh, we're gonna see how we take this apart. Um, <laughs> looks like from the side, oh my goodness, this is massive. I've been hesitant to buy this just because it's so expensive. I shouldn't say so expensive. It is, uh, dude, <laughs> this is big. Um, it's, uh, it's like 60 bucks. Um, now I'm seeing why it costs 60 bucks. Uh, cause this thing is so big. Wow. I don't know where I'm going to put this. Um, <laughs> we'll probably just use pieces of it, but wow, this is going to be amazing. All right. Let's see if there's any instructions or anything else. Um, this thing looks super cool. Curious to see where this thing goes. Wow. Have you guys gotten everything, anything from, uh, <laughs> from this line? Um, if you have, let me know. Um, but wow. There's a lot. Wow, I am, this is crazy. This is awesome, but crazy. All right. Super big. It looks like there might be, oh good, there are instructions. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um, <laughs> so, there are lots of things here, as you can see. Um, that's so cool. All right. I don't know if we're going to do all of the setup just because it is so big, but, uh, let's take a closer look, see what we got. Um, so it's got the small and large door. I think that makes a lot of sense to put together. Um, and then, uh, so basic overview that we've got a, an elevated bed. We probably won't use that necessarily. The hologram table, that looks cool. That's probably where that thing came from and then uh basically we can assemble it as we wish it says uh so uh let's go ahead uh i'll be right back i'm just gonna move some things around we're gonna go ahead and get the the door here so that we can start assembling that all right so it looks like this is one of the doors like i said this box is it, everything in here is just so big um in a good way uh so i'm not complaining uh as but you know that's about what you'd expect from 112 scale as well so let's do the bottom i suppose just make sure we we fold these we don't want to bend it the incorrect way however Hopefully I'm doing this right. Looks like it should be good. Got the tabs. I've gotten a smaller set on Etsy. Etsy. Come on, Brian. I, I can say that better. Um, on Etsy. Um, but uh, this is crazy big. There we go. So we're just gonna fold that down. Fold that lip. You can't see everything. The table here is, it's hard to get a good view because of how big this is. Wow. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, I think there's another one of these as well. Another 
docking bay here. Uh, let's go ahead and take this one off the table and we're, we'll, I guess we're gonna do that all over again. Fold that out, fold that down, fold that down. Just be very careful with that. Okay, these are so cool. <laughs> and like I said, you can get these on Entertainment Earth. Um, they're definitely one of the places that I go to, uh, especially for specialty stuff. Um, whenever I can get a chance, um, they have competitive pricing and they, they usually have stuff that uh, the other stores don't. Um, so it's a good option there for you, especially if you're looking for something um, where you normally look and it's not there, um, you can definitely do that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, I got the large door uh, together, but looks like I am missing the internals here. So we'll go ahead and pop the top. And then we've got this piece here, which hopefully just slides right in. Or maybe this goes on top. I don't know. We'll see. Not exactly sure how this is going to go. So I was finally able to get everything in place. Uh, the trick was the tabs that are on the, the background there. You got to fold them so that they're facing up. Yeah, facing up, not down. Um, and then the background here uh, for the door it definitely helps hold it into place. Once you figure that out, it, it really just starts to knock right down into place exactly where you would expect it. So let's go ahead and try the, uh, the smaller door. Hopefully with that, learning that, uh, it'll go a lot smoother than this one did. It took me a few minutes. Don't judge me. <laughs> All right. But if you have any questions on how to do that, I will be happy to answer them down in the bottom there if, with any of your questions. All right, so the piece of the back, uh, the the floor piece, it looks like this. Um, I'm guessing that this here is going to end up being like right there, and then there's another piece. There we go. So it's basically going to be going in kind of like this. That would make sense, and then sure which one's gonna be better for the floor but maybe this will work and then like this and then put that piece in get that in there right there we go kind of like that and that that's what we're gonna do by putting that in and I think we should have a door I think there's a door there's our door. Uh, so we'll put that in the background and that will allow us to uh, have our full-fledged thing here. And that really does help hold it in place. So I'm just gonna open up the top, sliding this in. And from the last time, this is what I mean, these tabs, they go down. better than I did last time. Um, and then we'll get this docking here. We'll 
start to line everything up here. Just line that up. It's looking pretty good. This, this. Just got to line everything up and push those in, push that down. And there we go. I am thinking this is going to look awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, so super awesome. All right, and then next um, we've got the hologram table. That is one I am really looking forward to. Which I believe is this guy. This should be pretty easy. Hopefully, I, hopefully it's going to be a little bit easier this time than last. So these should all do something kind of like that. And that. Okay, so let's kind of follow this a little bit. Okay. <laughs> All right. So again, we're doing this together. <laughs> this is making a lot more sense now. And then this slides into this. So basically we're creating that and then this goes into that and then this goes into that that goes in like that and then we'll do the same thing over here and there we go and then that goes like that and then we're gonna take this off and wham bam we have the table, the holographic table. <laughs> okay, progress. All right, and then it looks like got a couple more things. We've got the bed. I'm not too keen on the bed, but maybe you guys are. I don't know. But so we got this, this, this. That looks like this just goes into this. This, and this, and then we've got different parts that we need to find. I will say this is much better than what I was expecting, so uh, I'm very impressed thus far. Got a couple more pieces here. So I like this one. It's just a wall. <laughs> There's no bed piece or anything that goes tent to that. It's got another wall. Oh, 
All right, this is starting to come together now. So it looks like those two are exactly the same. Two walls. And then we've got the, the med bay here. So basically all we're doing is assembling cardboard boxes essentially, but much cooler than that. All right, so then this will go into that. Not exactly sure why there's two different ones there, but there's our med bay. <laughs> Success. All right. So I'm gonna come right back and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually put something together here so you can see what it looks like with the floor pieces and everything else together. All right, so this is a better look of what it actually looks like all together. Uh, I only have room on my table for two of the floor pieces and you get a total of four, so I'm very impressed. Uh, this is gonna be great uh, for taking pictures as well as just setting the scene, so. Really excited. All right, so I hope that uh, this gives you a better perspective as far as the scale with this uh, Sector 7 docking bay pop-up that's in 1 12th scale. Uh, it's awesome, it's huge. Uh, you can do lots of different things, especially if you're doing photography or video or anything else with your Black Series figures or any other, I guess, action figures for that matter. Uh, but just so you know, um, what it comes with is the large docking bay door. We've got the, uh, the small docking bay door, which is over there. Uh, it comes with three side panels, which are basically these guys over here. I've got another one over here, which is off screen, which you don't see. Um, and then uh, it also comes with the hologram table, which is right there, which you can use with or without the hologram. So that way, you know, depending on what you're looking for and what you're trying to do, uh, that, that works, obviously. Um, and then it's got um, eight 12 inch wide, eight, eight by 12 inch, sorry. <laughs> um, no, it is supposedly eight floors wow i didn't think it had that many but i guess maybe it does uh but basically we've got these panels here um that are the floor pieces these um are really cool i think they do a really good job of just making sure everything is in place um i don't think i got eight yeah i, I got four so I don't know what's wrong with that, but um, I mean, four of them, that's plenty for doing what you want. Um, and then uh, there's the uh, 3D elevated flatbed as well, which, you know, it's this guy here, which, you know, you, you hook up to a panel and then it's ready to go. Uh, but yeah, so I really like these. Uh, it's a really good deal. Um, like I said, I was a little apprehensive at the $60 price tag, but it works out really well uh, for everything that you get. Uh, I've looked at other dioramas uh, before on Etsy, and they were like $15 to $30 a piece, but they are definitely not this immersive. Uh, so it's definitely something to look at if you are, like I said, doing the, the photography or uh, anything else, because it really does set the stage very well. And like I said, I will leave a link to uh, Entertainment Earth uh, with a direct link to this item. That way you can take a closer look at it yourself. If you, again, if you have any questions, make sure to ask down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And with that, if you do not already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might find interesting. As you can see, we do a lot of things that are Star Wars and Star Wars the Black Series related, but also, um, you know, that a, anything else that a professional geek might be interested in as well, uh, such as theme parks, home automation, electronics, computers, that sort of thing as well. So if any of that interests you, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And with that, have a great day.